all spawning out here today. All right. Making my way down to the river where we will begin. Okay. I mean, I began back there, but we're really beginning here at the river. Day two, in the abyss, we're out looking for old places, whether they're settler sites, hunting cabins, loggers landings, anything where people did stuff in the past. And we will detect what we find. So, in the last video, we were on that side of the river now we did a big stretch from somewhere up in there to way down there. Well, today I've crossed over where there used to be a bridge from the colonial days. And now we go that way. And I'm definitely excited and curious because, you know, we've come down here and followed this cart path off to the south where there's definitely established home sites but it's again getting on this side of the river but going that way no idea and that's why it's why it's gonna be fun So as we walk along on the what's now trail, my thought and curiosity is, was it old cart path? And right now, am I seeing this veer off the trail? Watch my cuff. Is that a shoulder? So is that cart path overgrown heading into the woods? It could be logging ruts too, but I don't know. Let's go look. And I think one of the things that we figured out last year with the topographic maps showing loggers camps out here they would have been logging before they had vehicles so they still would have been using you know horse drawn wagons and such so you could have ruts out here that eh, may not be more than a hundred years old or roughly whatever it is And you can see it with the stump. That stump is ancient, cut forever ago. And more than likely, the loggers would have used whatever cart paths they had access to. So if they were out here logging a hundred years ago, they would have been in the 80, 90 year window of abandonment. And that would have been the time to cut again. So. I think the cart paths would have been still pretty easy to find and access. Well, it just seems to lead down to here with a couple big stumps. And maybe that's exactly why there's ruts coming in here. And that would have been a pretty good sized tree to come in and grab. Getting mushy. Everything's just leading down to the river. I'll tell you, if this was a cart path, 
sure took an awful rout. Definitely still loggers rut. Well, that's better. Then again, as we know, it may definitely not have been as wet and eroded out here 200, 300 years ago. But this is looking decent. Well, it took a while, but I think I found a genuine stitch of old road. It's rock shouldered, I don't know, less than 100 feet, and it took uh, just about a mile to get to something we could see of evidence. Yeah, and it's just leading right back down to the river. I see where it's open down there. Wet. But, that's pretty clear. It's funny, all the way behind us, nothing, and then it just appeared. So I walked a bit further down. The, what was left of the old road is beside the river. Turned it on and that's a lot of noise. Seventy. Let's see. Loggers Landing, Hunter's Cabin, or other. Bottle cap, uh, yeah, other. Oh, old cans. I guess it could be, could be a cabin site, could be a logger's landing. Nobody's gonna travel this far out just to dump stuff. And a bullet. Huh. Look at this. Just slightly up the hill, right behind the pit of noise. Nice old wall. And as usual, with whatever that is, cabin site loggers landing, people went where other people have gone. I'm assuming that's the inside because this side has the river and it just, you know, goes down into wetland. I guess we'll go in there and look around. Well, it's not good looking land by any means. But somebody walled it off for a reason. Maybe animals. I don't walk too far. And there's the corner. We came from that direction. Maybe five minutes. It's kind of a small square, which is interesting. Out in this crap.
walls and stacks. Actually, it's a pretty busy looking area. I mean, how bad was this land not? Hundreds of years ago, you were taking the time to pick a few up and stack them. And we are, again, kind of in a corner, but it just doesn't look good. There's rocks protruding everywhere. Could have been a pasture. Well, just keep heading up. Still cool. Nice end stone. Nice end stone. That is a proper break for in and out to this. It's definitely wet down in there. Just keep moving. I don't know, nothing's popping out other than that. I'm skirting the flooded out section. all hung up in the trees. Okay. More walls up ahead. I think we're just in old flooded out farmland. Yeah, I'd say the middle of this square was that low-lying now marshland right there well that is better so as I go throughout the day here walking in between I'm usually swinging just not filming it because, you know, it's just going on and on. But I haven't heard anything. Nothing. No nails. No ammo. No oxen shoes. And since we've entered this one, the ground is actually pretty nice. Comparatively speaking. And there's a signal. Probably projectile related. Yep. Well, first shotgun willy. Beautiful walls out here. As you can see, they're zigzagging all over the place. For the life of me, I can't figure it out. It's very hilly, and they're not straight. That one goes down, curves away, and then ends. It's just open on that end. And then as you can see, the one that goes up the hill, goes up the hill. But. That's a lot of small rocks. Actually, does it continue on? It does continue on after the... the T. Wild. Well, another big proper break in this wall. Like, two rods wide, 16 feet, some change. Huh. 
again decent land it's dead quiet no signs of cellar holes well proper break opens up in this way so swing and walk Yep, Willie. Yep, same signal, same find. Yep, I've been following a trail of them. Can't be good. I've just been heading straight from that proper break. I'm probably not a quarter of a mile, but maybe two tenths. And it's turning into logging ruts on this side. Sheet metal. I are hearing more things. Yeah, it's under the rock. What is that? Do you see it? Oh, no way. That's a coin. It's a silver coin. And if I'm seeing that correctly, hold on, let me get the camera down here. It is something that I have not dug in, well, since my first year of detecting. It is, it's a trime. Holy crap. Wow. All right, let me uh, clean that properly so I don't scratch the crap out of it. Wow. That is freaking great. So, I think we're in the 12th season. Actually, maybe it was my second year that I found one, but it's only been one. And we just rarely ever see these come out of the ground. Oh my God, that's beautiful. All right, I think she's clean enough to show you. 1852. I'm thrilled <laughs> after walking who knows how many miles. Bam, and 
And you know, it's funny, it's just, it was in the pile of rocks here. So I started way back, came to the proper break. It kind of had a cart path feel to it. Then it just started getting into like loggers ruts and hugged right up against this wall. So I started right there. If it hit the wall, pop a boom. And there's like a fallout of it, the wall that is. And there it was. Wow. So my guess is we've been just walking through the butt end of a farm, which I can't seem to locate the uh, center spot of where the house was. Or these are just all old auxiliary pastures. A couple of them had a field feel to it, but that was a lucky break. Well, with that, and I just checked the distance that I've accumulated. I've done five miles. We're almost at that four hour mark again. But today I couldn't set myself up for a loop because of where I had to cross the river. So, in, in and out. It's not like I went five miles out, but a lot of zigging and zagging with the walls. What a way to end. It goes to show you, it's out there. Follow the walls. So, I'm going to have to come back to this area and pick up in the next video because I think we're I think we're getting somewhere. We're getting on to something. Yeah, there's a piece of sheet metal back there. I mean, the coin. Whoa. But the logging ruts, shotgun shells, it just shows movement, activity. All right, that's it. Thanks for joining me. And we will do this again next time.